plaintiff, Brianna Cobb, dated the defendant. And Brianna says after she caught him cheating, she gave him a second chance. However, Brianna claims she lost trust in the defendant and they eventually broke up. But she's suing him today for a prepaid phone and minutes. Defendant Michael Hazard says before he and Brianna got together, she was dating his brother. Michael claims Brianna had anger issues and would often hit him during fights, and he's countersuing for personal property. Start with you, ma'am. Right, Your Honor, um, we had started dating in October of this year. It started out very good um, towards... October of last year? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm, no problem. Um, more towards April is when it became rocky. He had cheated on me and I had found out. I decided to give him a second chance. Were they Although... using crack? Got rocky? Yeah, that's a good point. Rocky as in crack Rocky or just... No, no, Rocky as in like bad. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right, <laughs> as in a stop. bad relationship. <laughs> um, I had become a little bit more miserable, more unhappy in the relationship. I did decide to give him a second chance. Um, although during that second chance, I was very apprehensive of his actions and who he was talking to, what he was doing throughout his day, considering that he had cheated on me. Because of how apprehensive I was, this had caused more arguments and more fights in the relationship. Um, How'd you times. catch him? I mean, what, what happened? Um, he has a child mm -hmm. and he disappeared for a weekend and did not speak to me at all. And then You're I... You're right, Doyle. Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> you sure that he wasn't binging? I actually have no idea, probably, Thank but you. I'm not very positive. Wow. Sir, what I'm were sure, you doing though. on those two days? <laughs> I was just hanging out with a bunch of friends, Your Honor. For two days? Yeah, we went well, up that's to That's what I'm saying. That's we, a binge. We, <laughs> Everybody, they sit around at somebody's house, and they just keep putting the rocks in, keep putting, <laughs> send somebody out for another 20. Go get a 20, man. <laughs> Come back, and they sit there, and they over and over, and they look at each other crazy, keep sending the guy out. One guy takes his watch off. He says, take this with you, man. Then they come back without his watch. What'd you get for my watch? 20. And the next <laughs> Man, you should have got more than my watch, $20 for my watch. Well, that's all I can get. Now, when they go to smoking, then the next day, you know, man, get your ring. Take your ring. Go to the, well, for the ring. Come back. Oh, what you get for my ring? 20. 20? <laughs> man, you should have got five rocks for that ring. Forget it. That's all right. Next guy, they run out again. Next guy, this the day and a half. <laughs> then that last half a day. There goes that car. Oh. <laughs> trade the car in. You ain't trade your car in, huh? You didn't go that far? That's uh, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> what'd you get for More that important car? Than hey, well, yeah, what'd you get for the car? 200? 200? That's a $10,000 car. <laughs> you can't smoke it. Uh, <laughs> folks, so how you know all this? I've been around so many. I hear so many crack stories. And I've just been around and around and around. That's how I know. I ain't never been no crackhead. So don't think I know because I've been a crackhead. Uh, you knew if I was a crackhead. <laughs> Yes, sir. You tell me your crack stories. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. You know I'm having fun with you, right? It's all right. Ahead. It's all right, Judge. Tell me right. uh, what's going on with you and your former lady here. Well, I mean, she she's actually kind of correct about the whole, you know, getting together around October and everything. She was my brother's ex. Um, they broke up for a little while. Yeah, they, they broke up for a little while. So, I mean, we started talking, uh, you know. How long after they broke up did you? It was probably like a month, two months. <laughs> Roughly after that. Um, so then after that, you know, we started hitting it off, you know what I mean? Started talking, getting together, and then uh, finally we started dating. Um, everything was going good for a little while until, you know, she started actually getting to the point where I couldn't actually go out anywhere without either someone stalking me uh, around I'm sorry. Someone I'm as sorry. in her? Uh, huh? Someone as in her? <laughs> Googled her or, you know, ha calling up her friends. And That's her not friends, true, like, Your hey, Honor. You know, I have never called my like, friends to go <laughs> find him. And oh I have never stalked him myself. That is not true. Well, that's that's what you say. But anyways, um, so, the, you know, it started going like that. Uh, you know, she, she would actually, uh, some days, she would get so angry and have her anger issues that she would actually start hitting me. And I'm more of a man to not actually lay my hands on her or do anything like that. Honor, you know, I, I wouldn't call the police. I wouldn't do any of that because I figured she was getting angry with me. I'd just leave it alone. You know what I mean? I'd get my time, walk away, cool down. All right. And prepaid phone and minutes. How does yes. he owe you for that? 
Um, I, we had an agreement that I would buy him this phone and that he would pay me back for it. No, there was no agreement. There was it. an agreement. You mm -hmm. actually, I have proof. Ma'am, go ahead. Talk go to ahead. Um, there was an agreement when? that he would pay me back. Um, when? This was May 15th that mm -hmm. I bought the phone. I said I will and get you this. And when was he to repay you? He was supposed to repay me at any time. Um, I, we he were hasn't dating. paid you no, yet? No, he has not paid me. Last I would time ask you asked for, for your money. money, what has he said? Um, he, I don't remember the last time he asked me, but he did reach out to me on Facebook after I filed for small claims okay. and said that he could either he give you. me the phone All or right. pay Sir, me Sir, let me hear from you. Day. What's your counterclaim for personal property? I'm counterclaiming for my mattress and uh, just a bunch of, well, four hoodies that I had uh, over at her house. <laughs> Um, she gave now, me. I told you, pawn the stuff. See, <laughs> no, I know no. what I'm talking about. No, no, no. You pawned your it mattress, was, sir? It, no, oh, sir. That's a first. No, sir. That I, must, I, that crate must I, have I been actually, something else. It was his idea I was to bring the mattress over to my house. I was I'll actually sleep on the floor. <laughs> I was actually Just give me one more rock. <laughs> no, one more. And I had to say one more. <laughs> not even like that, sir. But and they go looking in the carpet. That's something there. That's. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. <laughs> I, brought, I brought my belongings over to her house because the mattress that we were sleeping on wasn't, you know, a proper mattress to be sleeping on. So I brought my nice mattress. It was a Piranha Sleep Terry, straight from City Mattress itself. Uh, it was actually a four to five thousand dollar mattress um, that I had. Plus, I had about four. This was his idea, that, by the way, to bring that. I, that I had, though, because she she took it upon herself to actually throw it out and not give me the 30 days that she needed to give me to actually pick up my, my I belongings. I actually have all of his belongings. I have the evidence in the Where proof are they at? here. Okay, I will show you. Um, so you still, I, don't, I don't see a so, mattress back so, so, there. So, so why would I counter sue if I if his you tell me? Are right here. I had given him. We had broken up July. Why haven't 3rd. you given them to him before today? I had reached out to him on. July 23rd and said you have until August 4th to come get your things from my house and, but, I mean, or what it's happened, mine. What happened between and that time? So and so he had never problem? reached to me. No, he had never heard from him until August 7th. I don't believe I was Man, mad. that was a long binge. How yeah. long? When did he stop? I was mad that um, he did not you reach out to me by the room. date that I gave him. <laughs> so ahead, huh? out of anger, I told him that I had gotten rid of everything. I didn't. I still have it. If you would like to see it, I have the dates yes, that geez. I took these pictures also. You want your property or you want your money, sir? I mean, I. You know what she I'm put in. I would like my property. All right. To be honest. You want your property? All right. I mean, and uh, you have evidence, you say, of the uh, phone he agreed um, to yes. pay? Yes. Here are some text messages. Sir, did you tell her you'd pay for the phone? Uh, I did not tell her at the time when we per first purchased the phone. You it was did. actually it was actually it was a an gift. agreement. It was not a gift. Um, there was no written agreement or anything like that when we first purchased it. Um, after we actually separated is the time that she actually came at me and wanted to I had asked you multiple phone. times during the relationship and you always had some... And I said, I just wanted to let you While know being that mostly I would, unemployed. Quiet, ma'am, that I would have your money before the court date. Where is the phone? Um, I don't have it. The, the phone is actually in, oh. in my vehicle. Well, you keep the phone and then she'll get the money. $103, yes. you agreed that you would pay her. Mm -hmm. Whether you changed your mind from an earlier gift or not, you agreed at this point you would pay her. Um, you get your judgment when you give him his property. I'll make that within 30 days. Otherwise, uh, you'll pay him the $1,200. So you get your judgment in lieu of property. Have a good day. That's my decision. Now I completely despise him, considering everything that he had put me through, emotional, physical. I mean, I mean, that's what whores get. How am I a whore? <laughs> so, hey, hey, I, was, I was faithful, and yet I find Faith, another female's Faith, pants in Faith, my car. Faithful, huh? Faithful. Yeah, who'd I cheat on you with? It's all right. It's all right, Brianna.